My AC in my van hasn't been working very well. Should I fix it myself? I'm here with my friend Dustin at Main Street Mechanic to answer my question. That's a great question, Jessica. We get that a lot. The first thing we need to understand is Freon is a refrigerant. It is a gas. It's the same stuff they use in your AC in your refrigerator at home, also in the AC in your home. If it's low, it's leaking somewhere. And where it's a gas, you can't see it. It doesn't leave anything behind. So what we need to do is go in and inspect the system, make sure all the components are functioning the way they should, check your Freon levels, make sure they're within their tolerances. If they are within their tolerances, we need to find the component that isn't working. If it's low, we need to figure out where the Freon went. A lot of parts stores will sell you AC recharge kits. The problem with these kits is they have sealant in them. On the old cars, the sealant's okay because it will fit through all the ports and passageways just fine. Newer vehicles, all those ports and passageways are very small. Uh. So that sealant ends up plugging the system up and costing you more to fix than the initial leak or recharge would have. So I probably shouldn't try to fix it myself. No, the problem with trying to fix it yourself is it may end up costing you more money in the end. If it was just a small leak, we can fix that leak, recharge the system, and send you on your way. If you recharge it with a sealant, sometimes we end up having to replace the whole system, which can cost a lot more. Ooh. If you have questions for our mechanic, ask them in the comments below, and we'll see if we can answer them in future episodes. And for those car problems you need fixed, come on down to Main Street Mechanic in American Fork. Click on the link below to get 50% off your next oil change.